about this. So don't give them 200 of propofol and be surprised when they arrest and then you have to open their chest. I've got a case to talk about here. <laughs> this is a hippo called Lieber. Uh, Lieber was a hippo in an Israeli zoo. Lieber's a bit of a player, as you can see here. Uh, <laughs> and unfortunately, the zoo found themselves quite rapidly with 40 hippos. That's a lot of hippos. So unfortunately, they decided that poor Lieber was going to have to get castrated because he was just breeding too ferociously. He was only four years old, but he pumped out a lot of kitties. So they flew in a team that were a large animal team, but they weren't used to anything quite as big as a hippo. So they came along and they delivered what they felt was an appropriate anesthetic. They shot Lieber with the dart. Lieber went apeshit, as you can see. <laughs> so they did the resuscitative thing. They shot him again. <laughs> This is the hippo equivalent of 200 of propofol. Down Lieber went, and Lieber arrested. Now, how do you resuscitate a hippo? That's a good question. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> this probably isn't going to work. <laughs> and in true veterinary style as well, if you look in the bottom corner of the screen there, <laughs> You can see that no veterinary resuscitation attempt is complete without a fist up the ass as far as it'll go. So, <coughs> so don't do this to your thoracotomy patients. <laughs>